We are open to all. All choices. All orientations. All lifestyles. All possibilities. Because when we defy assumptions, change happens. When we defy division, hope happens. When we defy judgment, love happens. We are open to all and defy anything that stands in our way. I was raised Filipino and then I went out to the world, saw more Filipinos and felt a little confused as it like, am I supposed to just be Filipino? Is that the first thing? And then one day I just realized like, wait a minute, that's just one genuine authentic aspect of who I am. So maybe it's not about one thing. Maybe it's just embracing all of you. That's what Oprah says, so you know it's true. I was born in a suburb of the Philippines. I'm first generation. I grew up in a very predominantly Filipino and Asian place, Daily City being that. I grew up hearing Tagalog every day in my house. My mom would yell at us, I mean, talk to us <laughs> in Tagalog. So I was used to that. My parents were from Manila and very traditional, you know, brought me to church and still had the accent. Diba? Ganon. Ano? Hui! So I was raised with a very powerful Filipino upbringing and energy. I knew I was Filipino, but I really wanted to be white. I wanted to be accepted. I wanted to feel like I belonged to everyone else. I asked my mom, what was your goal by bringing your kids here? And she was like, oh, you know, like I wanted to give you guys opportunities that I didn't have. I think that's the most American thing about me, but I'd be lying to you if I didn't tell you that that was, wasn't rooted in like a Filipino spirit deep deep, deep, deep down from like childhood. Vince Rodriguez III, whose leading man role in Crazy Ex-Girlfriend was groundbreaking for Filipino actors in Hollywood. I'm an actor and I love what I do and I'm proud of what I do and I'm good at what I do and I'm gonna keep doing that, being the best person I can be and the best actor I can be and I'm gonna find my own path. In the entertainment industry, it's very significant and I think we both know how big of a deal it is because I know like you've been, it's something you've been pioneering for now. Yeah. I, know I have been in my own way. I think for our entire careers as actors, we're always hoping to play roles that are Filipino and get to depict the real Filipino cultural experience and so to be a part of the first Filipino family and depicting that on television, I think it's a a real benchmark thing to happen here. This is a huge deal, and it is an honor to be here. I am Filipino, grew up in Daly City, California, 94015. <laughs> I'm so proud to be a part of the first Filipino family on television. We are all about Filipino people on our show. I know, I heard, and that means so much to me. Um, and I, it's funny, when I, the first time I met Vince, my other friend Tess, who's also Filipino, she was like, classic Filipino, multitasking, like above and beyond. So you're all very smart and talented. <laughs> For this crazy onset takeover. Hi, I'm Vincent Rodriguez III. I play Josh Chan in Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. And uh, how about we just go on a little tour? Come on in. Our insider for the day took us around the set where he found his leading lady, Rachel, and carried out his contractual duty. Hi, Rachel Bloom. Hi, thanks for carrying me. There. It's in my contract. That I, has to carry me. I carry her. And it's yeah. also in our contract somewhere, um, fine print, where we have to kiss a lot. Yeah. So we, yeah, even if the, if the script doesn't uh, call for it. <laughs> it's, in, we just, it's in Vinny's contract. It's to really like, weird. <laughs> yeah. Am I supposed to ask you questions? Oh, God. No. American television yes. for the first time. Yeah, so how much did you learn about Filipino culture? I've learned so much about Filipino culture, and what's insane to me is we're not a show about, we're not a show that's like, we're not a fresh off the boat or a blackish about specifically being Filipino. One of our characters happens to be Filipino, so when we realized that like, no one else had even made like the effort to show a Filipino family on, on, a, on a, an American comedy, it's taught me a lot about Filipino culture, um, Mabuhai, um, <laughs> but it's also taught me really about, I mean, uh, about how important diversity is if you want to tell a new story. Um, and, and I don't think anything else I do from now on, I was just talking to my husband about this earlier, I, I would want to make it about people who are diverse, people of color, gay, trans, because uh, those are stories that have not been told before and America is a melting pot of immigrants and I don't think it's acknowledged half as much as it should be on television. Oh, and, right, thanks. Uh, and episode 18, we are so proud to say that Leah Salonga will be guest starring. And when um, 
Vince, who plays Josh Chan, heard that he literally fainted. Like, he literally, like, to the ground, fainted. Um, and so, we're s we are so excited to be seen as a show that supports all different sorts of people and supports diversity because that's what America is, and we're just showing what America really is. A mistake. So when I got here, everybody was so nice. And here are my co-stars. Hi. Hi. How are you, darling? Introduce yourself. Bye, my name is Vincent Rodriguez III. I play Detective Rudy Cruz. He's Filipino. Opa. Somehow. Hi, Chris Gorham. I play Bob Barnard on the show. I'm Kishios. I play Nani Thompson on the show. Hi, Philippines. See, guys, I'm with the big time. <laughs> she is the big time. <laughs> Vince, you want to do it? Come on, come on up. Why not? Hi! Yeah, we have Josh Chan to up on stage to sing it. Hey there, Sony Hall. <laughs> You're making your I mean, Sony Hall. I didn't know where I was. Are you gonna make your Sony Hall? Is this your debut here? This is my Hall? debut here. And then tomorrow night's our Radio City Music Hall debut. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Crazy Ex Girlfriend is doing a concert. That's why I'm here. Yeah, let's do our shameless plug right now. Oh you my might gosh. as well. Shameless plug. Yeah. Can I tell you something funny? Sure. So, tell me something so, funny. So, so, so Leia played my aunt on Crazy Ex Girlfriend. And, and I'm shaking right now because I'm remembering. I keep thinking. She'll sing a whole new world with you. <laughs> Shall we do this? Here is a whole new world.
sashay away. <laughs> Perpetuating a stereotype that all Filipinos can sing. That's <laughs> Please welcome Vincent Rodriguez the third. Hi, Vincent. Hi, guys. Welcome to going? Chicago. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. So, explain this show for those of people who oh, have not gosh. seen it. Gosh. Well, Crazy Ex Girlfriend is a dark um, one hour. Well, you know, when you're on Crazy uh, Ex-Girlfriend, you got to strip down sometimes. Uh, Vince <laughs> Rodriguez III is here. When did they tell you uh, there, some of your clothes were going to have to not, like, be seen? Oh, um, I think Aline Brosh McKenna told me at, at an event, we were having a meal, and she was like, you have about five. Seeing our pain through the art of dance, but we'll express so much better without these pants. There's so much pressure when you're a big hot guy. Cause that's where heaven is No longer stuck in the muck on the ground Let's go Being Filipino growing up was a challenge. It took me a while to really own that part of who I was and to realize that it's another part of me, you know? I'm a Filipino-American. Um, I'm a proud out gay man. I love martial arts and I love barbershop music and I love musical theater and I love lifting weights. Like, <laughs> it was really tough as a kid trying to be something that was acceptable. Ultimately, I realized there's a lot of pride in my culture and in what our ancestors went through and what a lot of us in the Asian community are going through in Hollywood. Now, being here in this landscape, that we, we all kind of have an understanding on how hard it is to be here, let alone just accepting and present to your authentic self. Hi, I'm Vincent Rodriguez III, and I'm here at Project Angel Food in Los Angeles, speaking to you as one of their ambassadors this morning. As we enter the holiday season, they are asking that we all choose love this holiday. Many of Project Angel Food's clients and their families will struggle just to make ends meet. So we are asking that you choose love this holiday and feed a Project Angel Food family. Each day, Project Angel Food delivers nutritious, delicious food free of charge to the most vulnerable in our community, relieving them of hunger, loneliness, and financial stress, helping them stay in their homes. You can help nourish and nurture more of their clients and improve their overall well-being. Your support is beyond crucial for their efforts just to ensure the safety and the health of the hundreds of clients that come here during the holiday season. So, for near five dollars, you can help provide a free, medically tailored meal for someone living with a crucial illness. And if your pockets are bigger, feel free to donate a little more and feed more families. Or better yet, just come on by and volunteer yourself around Thanksgiving or Christmas or anywhere in between. Because like we said, choose love this holiday season. So, this is me, Vincent Rodriguez III, saying please choose love over here at Project Angel.